Hello, I'm Joey Lang, and welcome to the Video Production Lab Safety Series. Today's topic, basic light setup and safety for the Speedatron lights. Strobe lights are used in still photography. Like a much bigger version of the flash on your camera, it works by storing up and releasing a large amount of electricity to create a powerful flash at the exact moment your camera shutter releases. If used improperly, it can lead to serious injury from the massive power discharged. The primary components are the power box and strobe head. For now, place the power box off to the side so it is out of the way and leave the box unplugged. Set up the light stand first. Then attach the light to the stand. Make sure the head seats completely on the post before tightening the locking screw. Connect the light to the power box using the power cable. Each end of the cable gets plugged in in different ways. With the yellow end, line up the notch on the inside of the plug and twist the ring until you feel it snap into place. The other end is a bit easier. Line up the notch again and push the plug in. The collar should snap into the box. For now, just use the socket labeled A. On the control panel of the box, set the power switch to off. The model switch to ratio, the ratio switch to A plus B plus C, the speed switch to fast, the beeper switch to on, and the power level to full. These settings will be explained in detail in a future video. After you've connected the head to the power box, make sure the box is turned off. Only then are you ready to plug the power box cable into the wall socket. It is important that the entire system is not plugged into the wall outlet when connecting any power connections. A discharge of electricity can happen at any connection, damaging the equipment and potentially electrocuting the user. Now, you can turn the power switch on the box on. Press the green button on the box to fire the light. If any light does not fire, ask the lab assistant for help. On the box, set the modeling switch to full and ensure the switch on the light is on to view the modeling light. You should hear a fan running, which keeps the unit cool. Remember, ensure the box is off and unplugged. Connect the light cords lining up the notches. Then plug in the power box and turn it on. Again, never unplug or plug any of the cords into the box while it's still plugged into the wall. And that concludes part one. Until next time, I'm Joey Lang.